Based on the CDC's new COVID prevention guidance, Potter and Randall counties are now in the low risk category as of yesterday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kaylee Green. Andy and Jackie have the night off. Tonight, we're getting an update from the Amarillo Public Health Authority on masking and where we stand at this point in the pandemic. That story topping our news tonight. So we bring you facts, not fear. Amarillo Public Health Authority Dr. Todd Bell says our area has seen a large drop in active COVID-19 cases in the past several weeks. Just like a wildfire, when a viral outbreak runs out of fuel, that is people who have not been recently sick or vaccinated, then it actually kind of peters out. And that's kind of where we are. Based on new CDC guidance, Dr. Bell says most people can stop wearing masks. For the average citizen in Potter or Randall counties right now, this is a time that we can feel comfortable being able to take off our masks, being able to still in, or get back to enjoying all those uh, wonderful things that we can do in our community. Dr. Bell also says while it's okay not to wear a mask right now, COVID is not gone. I think that um, uh, if folks are sick, if they have um, uh, fevers and cough or, or uh, sore throat, um, I think they should be tested. And they shouldn't trust that low numbers in the community at large mean that they don't have COVID. He says the new metrics for our COVID status levels are based on the number of new cases in the community as well as strain on hospitals. Uh, the hospitals are both pretty full, but not necessarily with COVID patients right now. Uh, what we're seeing is that um, uh, there's probably at least some pent-up demand for healthcare services, things that were either delayed or canceled earlier in the pandemic. He says as more people get vaccinated, there's much more immunity to the virus in our community. I think that as we get future surges, and we will have other surges, they're going to be less disruptive um, to our, our daily lives than what we've seen in prior surges so far. The CDC says there are a handful of counties on the High Plains that are still at high risk for COVID transmission and many others in the medium risk category.